Hi, this is Ryan at Clovis Star, and the topic comes up a lot about global warming and you know political groups that I'm in or activist causes, uh, friends and family as well. And I hate the topic to come up, you know, because it is very divisive. But it is a topic that needs to be addressed because the the people fighting hardest to control climate change. Um, I think are misled and are making false statements and false statements always detracts from the cause. I think that, you know, it's a, it's a worthy cause, certainly. And certainly all of us want to see the earth kept clean. I mean, who doesn't want to see their home clean? You know, so it's an easy cause to rally around. Everybody supports it. Everybody wants a clean earth. That's, that's true. Absolutely. Nobody wants to see our globe warm up to a point of extinction. That's, that's obvious. But the problem that I have you know, the science that I see shows that humans contribute less than 1% of all greenhouse gases. Most greenhouse gases, like over 90%, is water vapor. So it's really hard for me to say humans are responsible for climate change. Yes, maybe we contribute a little bit to it, but it's a cycle. The Earth always balances herself out. You know, uh, it, it's been shown that the more, uh, more, uh, heat there is, the more fauna there is. The more fauna there is, the more oxygen there is. The more oxygen there is, the more it cools the earth. So when there's not as much fauna, not as much trees and shrubs and plants, then the earth gets hotter because, you know, the air is not being cooled by the oxygen and so forth. Um, but as the, the temperature gets hotter, it, it causes a chain reaction of plants to grow and then the earth cools. Well, the Earth is always on a heating and a cooling phase, a heating and a cooling phase, a heating and a cooling phase. And many species all throughout the history of the Earth, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of years, have been wiped out by the changing of the climate. And, you know, when everybody points to the Industrial Revolution or human causes of climate uh, change, I, I really have to cringe at that. It, it's hard for me to not say anything because... You know, we see the polar ice caps growing. Last year we were in Maine. It was the coldest year on record in like 90 years. Um, you know, we see uh, just a week ago, Texas had all kinds of snowfall. So, yeah, I mean, they used to call it global warming until the Earth started cooling. And now the Earth is cooling. Now they call it climate change. So, yeah, there is that. I get it. Um uh, I get there's climate change, but I think it's always been. I think the dinosaurs were wiped out because of climate change. I think we'll be wiped out eventually because of climate change. And I don't think there's much we can do to control it. Um, I know they can seed the clouds and they can, you know, control the weather a little bit, things like that. But most of the weather changes, most of the climate change has to do with the tilt of the earth, the distance from the sun, and the heating and cooling that happens from trees growing and then, you know, such, such and so forth, that cycle I just spoke about. It happens with or without humans. But my point is, and hopefully this is, you know, recognized by intelligent people if they just think about it. You know, if we're out there saying, oh, humans are responsible for climate change and it's not true. It's like, you know, the boy crying wolf. People aren't going to listen to people who are wrong. If you're wrong about humans causing climate change and people become aware of that and they study it and they realize that you're wrong, then your arguments are going to have no weight. If you say we need to clean the earth because we want clean water, clean air, clean food, so on and so forth, then I, I can see that point being much more valid and much more accepted and much truer than the idea that humans cause climate change. We all want to have a clean earth. We all want to have clean water. We all want to have clean food. You know, we all want to, you know, be safe and healthy. That's not a sales pitch that anybody needs to think twice about. That's the truth. So why do we need to tie pollution to climate change when pollution, in my estimates, at least from what I've read, humans cause 0.28% of greenhouse gases. That's not enough to really affect climate change. Um, can we reduce that? We probably could. The, the biggest problem with reducing it is that the governments come in and say, hey, we want to tax your business. We want to tax this. We want to tax your emissions. We want to tax that and this and that. And... You know, if it's not doing any good to tax those things, if all it's doing is raising money to fight the next war or to arm more police with military weapons or whatever, if those taxes <clears throat> are just to go to empower a government entity, 
and not really do any good, then I'm against it. I'm not against all these emission taxes and stuff. I think that's stupid. I think it's hard on people in low incomes to find jobs when they do that. I think it's hard on the economy. I think it's hard on innovation and technology and improving the world. I think that, that kind of thing is a false flag, saying that humans are responsible for climate change. Um, but I can totally get behind, and I always have been behind, cleaning up the earth for health reasons and you know, to keep the earth healthy and to keep us healthy and to keep the air healthy and the, and the water healthy and the food and everything else healthy. You know, when I was 17, I got this tattoo. It's a big earth on my arm. And I worked for many causes. Uh, you know, when I, when I was homeless, I had plenty of time on my hands. And I used to do all kinds of political awareness things and raising signatures for petitions and, you know, different, different uh, you know, opportunities to be involved I took part in. Um, now I do my newspaper which I'm always trying to produce to let people know about the value of hemp and cannabis. And that's what you know this article and many of my other articles are about. Um, you can see marijuana leaves all over this. And cannabis, you can look this up, hemp cleans the air and the soil four times faster than trees do. So the more hemp we have, the more oxygen it produces, the more air it cleans, the cooler the earth is, the healthier the soil is. They planted hemp at Chernobyl after the big nuclear meltdown in the Ukraine, you know, that Chernobyl uh, nuclear reactor that melted down. And it was all radiated for miles around there. And they planted hemp to clean the soil because hemp is so good at it. But it also, you know, cleans the air, produces oxygen, so on and so forth, at, at four times the amount of what trees do per acre. So for what four acres of trees could do, one acre of hemp could do the same thing, at least for cleaning things up. So. When my friends or, 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 or acquaintances or people on Facebook that I know get irritated with what I say when I say humans aren't responsible for climate change, that happens irregardless of us. Um, I just want them to know why. And that's what I'm saying here. You know, you, you go and research it. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be such an emotional knee-jerk reaction. There's a lot of validation for my points here. I'm not saying I'm 100% right. I'm saying that if you just look at history, you look at the Earth's history, it's like a 26,000 year cycle that we go through where there's an ice age. But in between those 26,000 years, we have cooling and we have heating and we have cooling and we have heating. And it doesn't matter if humans are involved in industry or if humans are even here. It happened to the dinosaurs as well. It happened to many other phases of the Earth. Um, ice ages happen on a regular cycle. So all, I, all I'm saying is look at history I don't think humans can control climate change. I think it's going to happen no matter what. I'm a very big fan of colonizing Mars and other planets and other galaxies because I think this Earth is actually going to kill us someday. It's going to wipe us all out. And I would love to see our species continue on through the universe. I think that's our destiny. I've always wanted to be one of the first people to inhabit Mars. Uh, my wife's not a big fan of it, but I always have been and I always will be. I would love to further our you know, reach of this species in the universe. I would love to continue our species for a longer duration than we may or may not have. I think the count is is going on now. The clock is ticking down. And eventually, we're going to be all wiped off of this earth if we don't do something to preserve our species. So that's my point. 